Good evening, everybody. Here we are again on um, another bedtime story. We are so excited to share a new story with you today. I hope you haven't read it yet. Um, Jaden, what are you doing? I found some secret fries on the cop place. <gasps> really? Oh, he has a detective book. It's not just a book. It's a secret file. It's a secret file. Let's see like what the name is. Mask. It's called uh, The Mess Detectives, The Couch Potato Caper. Okay, let's get James because this is pretty long. Oh, like, subscribe, comment, all that stuff. Make sure! Okay. The Mess Detective. The Mess de <laughs> The Mess Detectives case. 411 the couch potato cake. Yes, I found it. You people who don't want to walk, think about the ant. It has no commando, it has no needle or wool, but it stores up to its food in summer. It gathers its food in the home at the time. Problem 668. Ladies and gentlemen, the story you are about to read is silly. The names have been changed to protect the serious. It was a gloomy Saturday, and good day to stay in bed and practice my snoring. But sleeping late is not a choice for me because I am a mess detective. I'm also a Cucumber. My name is Detective Larry, and my partner is Bob the Tomato. He carries a badge. I carry a battle. A battle. A bad jaw. A badger. Badger. <laughs> Don't ask why. <laughs> 9 a.m. Bob was cleaning his desk, and I was polishing my staple. <laughs> polishing my staple. When we got the news. Potatoes have taken Laura Carrot prisoner, but these weren't just any potatoes, they were couch potatoes. <laughs> the laziest veggies in the world! <laughs> the laziest veggies in the world, couch potatoes. Yes. Do you want me to hold it? Will that help you? I guess. Actually, 9.30 a.m. <laughs> We arrived at the carrot home, which was already surrounded by police. So Laura Carrot was prisoner inside her room. Prisoner inside her room. On the first floor. What do we do about these couch potatoes? Bob asked Officer Scooter. The leader is a potato named Sputsy Mail. He's got a sidekick called Chip, Scooter explained. They're the laziest potatoes in the city! They've been known to watch TV for five days in a row without stopping. <laughs> I can watch YouTube for at least a day, but five days in a row? That's crazy. This Not even bad. during a coronavirus. Yeah, this was bad. Really bad. Well, you know what they're going to be doing on this thing. Aren't they dangerous, Bob Ass? Oh, are they dangerous, Bob Ass? <laughs> Officer Scooter nodded. They've got snack shooters. They have what? Snack shooters. Like they have snack shooters. <laughs> I shuttled snack shooters should find donuts, pretzels, and cookies at unbelievable speeds. <laughs> Taking snack at an unbelievable speed. Oh my gosh, where's Pac Man? How did the couch potatoes get into the carrot house? I asked. Loa Carrot is really lazy, said the officer Scoodle. She watches TV all day long, so the potatoes made fun of her. I made a note of that. The couch potatoes convinced Laura to have pop a popcorn party, Scoodle continued. That's when they 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 took over the entire house. Nine forty a um I've always wanted to use the megaphone, so I started singing, Bad boys, bad boys, what you gonna do when they come for you? Bob told me to stop singing. Stuff a sock in it, a neighbor home. 
That's not very nice. Well, again, why would they have socks? They don't have feet. No feet. We've already talked about this in like two videos. Then what should I say to these he to these thugs bomb? I asked my voice boomed. Bob load Bob lowered my megaphone. When you're talking to me, you don't need to use the megaphone, Larry. Oh I sorry. I put the megaphone back up to my mouth and said The house is surrounded, so come out with your TV guy clothes. Arms up <laughs> The cash potatoes didn't answer they were too caught up in their TV show. Giga Gigglin's Island. Gigglin's Island. Gigglin's Island. It's supposed to be like Gillian's Island. You guys probably don't know those shows. Ten what is it? Gillian's Island. Ten AM. At the stand at the stand off I stretched when we spotted Mr. Carrot standing behind one of the police cars. Hello, ma'am, I said. I wandered over. My name is Detective Larry, the cucumber. And this is my partner, Bob the Tomato. He carries a badge. I call I carry a badge. Don't ask why. We have a few questions, ma ma'am," said Bob, joining me. "When did you first get a hint that Laura was hanging around with lazy couch potatoes?" "There were many clues," Miss Lucille said. "She wouldn't put any. She wouldn't put away her clues." She kept lo loosening things. Just why? Just yesterday, all of her homework was missing. In missing homework. So you are saying she's too lazy to clean? I boomed through the me megaphone. The power of my voice knocked Miss Carrot backwards onto the ground. Oops, sorry, ma'am. Bob. Told me to knock it off. Stop a sock in it, a neighbor yelled. <laughs> ten ten a.m. Things were getting tense. Television crews arrived. Several neighbors pulled up couches to watch sharpshooters were in the place with the TV remote controls. The sharpshooters are ready, Officer Scooter shouted to Bob. They'll just give her the order and they'll turn off the TV. Ha! They have like TV remotes, and if they click the button, the TV will turn off. <laughs> I guess that all. I have. We haven't even read this. I just guessed. <laughs> the sharpshooters aim their remote control towards Laura's window. I've got a clear shot. One of them called. Then take it, I blow. Through my microphone, the voice police, the police sharpshooter took a careful aim at the TV, barely visible through the curtains. Then he pushed the off button on his remote. 10.20 a.m. The couch potatoes turned the TV back on. The police turned it off. The potatoes turned it on. The police turned it off. On, off, on, off, on, off, on. It went for what seemed like hours. That's when Bob made our move. We crept through the back door of the carrot house and we quietly moved down the hallway. Sneaking, I'm sneaking. 10.31 a.m. Dun, dun, dun. We slipped into Laura's room. Noticed Laura and the potatoes were still fighting to keep the TV clicked on. We must have been in the messiest place on earth. It was dust so thick that you could shovel it. The room was packed with piles of junk, mountains of clothes, and stacks of toys. At least it gave us plenty of places to hide. <laughs> Ten thirty-eight a.m. We took cover under a pile of dirty laundry, where we got a good look at the potatoes. They were two of them, a small one and a big one. Their eyes were bloodshot from watching too much TV. Lowell was beginning to have the same zombie look. We out of ammo, Spudsy Malum snapped. Get us more snacks, sure thing, Boss Chip told him. This was our big chance. Get Laura's attention and ask her if she'll need to slip out the back door with us. Psst, Laura, over here we 
They're behind these boxes. Uh oh, big mistake. Never whisper through a mind off road. Stuff a sock in it, Bob said. I made a note of that. 10.43 a.m. All cover was blown. We had to take action. Hold it right there, Spudsy. Bob said, flipping open his badge police. That's right, police, I shouted, holding out my badge. -o. My badge -o flipped open my badge. <laughs> the badge -o flips open. <laughs> like the badger actually flips open. It's supposed to be like the badge. It's silly. You're not taking us without a fight, Spudsy bellowed, aiming a snack shooter right at me. Where's the ammo, he ordered Chip, who had ran to the room. Uh, bad news, boss. We all, we ate all of the ammo. Uh-oh. Well, you <laughs> couples aren't, well, you couples aren't taking Laura, Spudsy growled. She wants us to stay with us, right, Laura? No way, Bob said. Come on, Laura, let's leave peacefully. Laura didn't know what to think. Why should I leave? She asked. This is my favorite episode of Gagillion's Island. Law, trust me, Bob said. You can't spend all of your time lying around the house. Laziness doesn't pay. Laziness doesn't pay. God teaches us the hard things that work brings. Great rewards, in fact, home chores are a good way to practice being a first rate worker. For the rest of your life. Laziness is not easy. Laziness is a lot easier, she told me. Bob glanced around the room. Look at this place. It's a mess. When you're lazy, your whole life becomes a mess. You're too tired to do anything. It's like being stuck in mud. Laura blinked her eyes a few times. Bob's horns weren't sinking in. That's why I, that's why. That's when my badger did an amazing thing. What did he do? What did he do? My badger began to clean up the room. Hey, what'd you think you're doing, Spudsy snapped. Couch potatoes hate to see people working except on TV. Picking up on, picking up on my badger's idea, Bob started to clean, so I did. They're cleaning, boss, Chip told Spudsy. What do we do? Bob pulled 3D CDs out of the mess. Hey, can we listen to these? He asked Laura. Laura's eyes lit up. My new CDs? Where did you find them? In the guy I found, I said, turning on, trying on a pair of fluffies. Bunny slippers, very fashionable. Wow, I love those slippers, Laura smiled. That's one handy dandy badger. Eleven thirty-two a.m. The police SWAT team burst into Laura's room and slid right out the window. We had just waxed the floor. We had just waxed the floor. Meanwhile, Spudsy Malone and a sidekick Chip were still slitting around watching TV. That's the thing about couch potatoes. They're too lazy to make a run for it. 11.50 a.m. Laura Coward and her mom thanked us for all. Wait, wait. Only doing a job, I said. I'm just glad you learned that laziness doesn't pay, Bob told Laura. I can't believe how clean Laura's room is, added Miss LeCarrot. She put away everything. Well, Glenn Laura, not exactly everything. She winked at Mom. 'What do you think Laura meant by that? I asked, has Bob and I were leaving the cabin house? Beats me. I decided to ask Laura, reeling around. I put the megaphone to my mouth and I said in a booming voice, nothing at all. No sound came through my megaphone. Laura had stuck the sock in it. <laughs> stuff a sock in it. Stuff a sock in it. Stop the sock. That is it of the secret cases that I found. That's it? Now That's I should, the end? Now I should, yes, that is it. That's the final page. Laura had stuffed the sock in it. <laughs> I should probably get these files back to the police. <laughs> Bye. No. You want to say our prayers tonight? Tony Bale! Jaden, would you like to say our prayer tonight? Oh, no.
You gonna come say our prayer tonight, our reader? Our detective? She's not my detective. I stole them. Please. Trying to get our detective to come back and say our prayer for tonight. Well, guys, I hope you all enjoyed that fun story. Um, join back tomorrow night for at 8 o'clock. Miss Vesta is going to be doing the story time, a live story time reading tomorrow night at 8 o'clock. Okay? <laughs> All right. I promise he's not a robber. He's a veggie tail detective, I guess. So that's why he's wearing a green <laughs> bandit hat. All right, Jaden. You want to say the prayer for us? You want me to do it? You do it. Okay, I'll do it. All right, guys, let's bow our heads and close our eyes. There you go. That's one way to close your eyes. <laughs> Thank you, God, for this wonderful, beautiful, sunny uh, day that we had today. Thank you, God, that you made everything so enjoyable for us. God, we love you. We thank you for who you are, for what you've done through Jesus, and for loving us always. Help us to rest well tonight and wake up in the morning um, ready for a brand new day and ready to not be lazy, but ready to be quick and to be uh, to get our stuff done, not to sit around on the couch and use a snack shooter. <laughs> we love you, God, in Jesus' name. Amen. So if we learned anything, anything during that story, don't use a snack shooter. <laughs> yeah. Oh! Don't sit on the couch for hours. Get outside. Enjoy the beautiful weather, okay? God made you to do so much more than that. Okay, now we're losing quality. All right, say good night, Jaden. Good night. <laughs> Bye.